Hey there, welcome to this video. We're going to be walking through TradingView. What the benefits are, how you use it, as well as sharing a few tips to make your experience a lot more enjoyable as a new or developing student. As a real quick reminder, trading with real money does involve risk. Now, what we have in front of us is the tradingview.com homepage. In no way am I affiliated with this platform. There are other charting softwares and websites out there, but TradingView, it's free to make an account. You can see in the top right hand side where it says join for free. And so what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you go create an account. And after you've done that, when you've logged in, it's going to look something like this. Now it may not be in dark mode. You can customize all of that in the dark color theme option, as well as change up any of your profile settings if you need to make any adjustments to your account, such as upgrading to a pro plan. If you do upgrade to a pro plan, there are of course some benefits that come with that. And TradingView does a really phenomenal job about explaining the differences between their free account and the pro account. Uh, one thing that I would encourage you to do though is every year, multiple times a year, at times like Christmas and Black Friday, a lot of major holidays, what TradingView will do is they will run a sale. And so you can get the pro plan for anywhere from 40 to 60% off. And so it's a, it's a phenomenal deal. Now, up at the top here, you see this search bar where it says ticker. Okay, basically this is what's going to allow us to search for different markets. So whether that's an individual stock whether that's an index like the Dow Jones or the S&P 500, whether it's a commodity like gold that we're looking for, a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or a Forex currency pair. All of that and more can be found within this search bar. So let's start by typing in something simple like Apple. If we were to type in Apple's ticker, it's going to bring us over to a page that has some basic information about the stock. It's going to show us details such as what the last traded price was. And so we can see last price was $313.05. It was down $7.25 for the day. It finished the day negative 2.26%. And right now we're in pre-market, the time of this video. Market for the New York Stock Exchange is going to be opening up in about 12 minutes. And we can see in pre-market trading, Apple is actually at 298.33. It's down another $14.72, negative 4.7%. And so once this market begins trading, in just a few minutes, we're actually going to see a gap on the chart. It's going to be gapping down. And so if you're in an if you are in a trade, that's naturally going to have an effect on your position. If you are buying, it would gap lower and you would be more negative. It could gap over your stop loss, for example. And if you were, of course, selling, it would gap into your favor. And so that could be a very good thing for you. It also gives us the opportunity from this page to see information about the company, like when their next earnings are, how much their earnings per share is, what their market cap is right now, so on and so forth. If they pay a dividend, it's gonna show that information as well. As we scroll down, there are a bunch of different ideas. And so all of these are ideas from other people that use TradingView. We can see a little bit more information about the company right here as well as a general profile about who they are and what they do. 
And so TradingView is a really great place to start when it comes to doing some fundamental research. Obviously, there are many sources online that you can use if you're looking at stocks, for example. And if we wanted to switch into the full featured chart, we can click on that button and it's going to bring us to the chart. By default, your candlesticks will not look like this. They'll most likely be red and green or some variation of that. You'll also probably have a line graph of some sort in the background. So I'll quickly walk you through how to clean your chart up, how to customize it, how to make it look a little bit more suitable to what you like. And you'll notice here the gaps that I was talking about, right? We've got the gaps from prior days. Now this particular pop-up is showing up because I do have other tabs open. So we're just gonna click, do not show this again. Uh, but here are the gaps that we were mentioning. So we saw in pre-market price was at around 298. Uh, so right in here. Okay, the market is going to essentially be gapping down somewhere near the $300 area around the time that market opens here in nine minutes from now. And so we're going to see a nice big visible gap. Just because the gap exists does not mean that no trades happened. It's just people are buying and selling at a time where the candlesticks aren't updating since we are in pre-market hours. There are ways through TradingView to get access to pre-market data depending on the plan that you have. And that's also something that you can read about if you are considering a paid plan rather than the free plan. Now there's a lot of stuff that we could talk about. The first thing we're gonna do is right click on the chart. We're gonna go down to settings. Inside of the settings, this is where you can customize what your chart looks like in the appearance tab. And so the background color, very straightforward. The vertical and horizontal grid lines, that's what I was talking about with this. And I'm sure that we can agree, having those lines on the chart makes it a little bit more difficult to read what's happening within the movement. And so the first thing that I like to do is just set the opacity to zero. And then that way it's nice and clean. The session breaks essentially shows us different trading days. And so right now, because we're on a stock, Apple, the market only trades for a certain amount of time each day. And so all of the candlesticks on this hourly time frame, the 60 minute chart, that are being displayed to us between this dashed line, where the blue candle is prior to this black candle right here, all the price between here and right here. This is the trading action for one day. Okay, so if you want session breaks on, it helps you understand a little bit more about what moves happened over a certain period of time. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off for now. The scales text, that's going to change the size and the color of this scale on the right, as well as the date down at the bottom. The crosshair, it's just the crosshair that we can see in the background. The watermark, that's going to be this right here where it gives you information about the stock or the commodity or the Forex pair uh, in the background as well as the time frame that you are on. We're going to leave the rest the same. Quickly walking through the other categories under the symbols tab, this is where you're going to be able to change the color of your candles. If you like my color screen, you can copy it. If you want to customize it, create something completely unique to you, and that's perfectly okay too. The last value line, this is going to show us what the last traded price was. So very helpful because it will highlight it over here on the side and help it stand out a little bit more. Under the status line, basically what I have checked here, we've got the 
open, high, low, close values. And so up here in the top left hand side, you can see some numbers. The O stands for open, the H stands for high, the low is low, or the L rather is low, and the C is close or current price of the candlestick that you're hovering with your crosshair. And so it can help you very easily determine specific price points just by hovering and looking at the open, high, low, and close price of any given candle. Now the bar change values, that shows us the percentage change over that specific period of time. Indicator titles, arguments, values, that's if you have something like volume on your chart, okay, these bars, where it shows you how many shares or what the quantity of something being traded over a period of time was. In the scale section, not really too much to uh, change in here. The trading section, there are some brokers out there that allow you to trade and connect to trading view so that you can actually buy and sell directly through trading view. Uh, if you do choose to do that, whether it's with a live or a practice account, all of that information about what it is that's going to show up on your charts can be edited here in the trading tab. And then the events section, last but not least, this essentially shows us information related to the company, such as uh, when their next dividends are, if they had any splits, when their earnings are. And if you have this feature right here, show economic events on chart uh, checked, it's going to show you different news events for things like Forex. And so, for example, if we had this checked, and if we were to go over to something like USD CAD, okay, you'll notice down here there are some different flags. So we could click on that, and it's going to show us what news is up and coming that could have a potential effect on this market. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that off again. Now, let's go back to the Apple chart, just so that once the market opens here in uh, two minutes, you can see that gap that I was referring to a few moments ago. But while we wait for that, we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the other features with TradingView. You can see over here on the right, there are a bunch of different symbols. This is essentially a hot list or a watch list. Now the watch list is very beneficial because it allows me to literally just click on any one of these assets and it's going to bring me directly over to that market without me having to type in or search for anything. And so it's very convenient. It allows you to kind of keep your eye on different things regardless of what it is that you're looking at. And you can, of course, highlight certain things. So say, for example, there was a pending trade that you had an idea for, and it was on something like Bitcoin. You could actually flag it with a specific color so that you know, hey, there is a possibility that a trade is going to be happening over on this chart after you've gone and you've marked it up. You can add symbols easily up here by just typing them in. If you don't know what the ticker is, but you know, for example, the name, if it's a company that you want to look for, you know, say you didn't know what the ticker was for something like uh, Facebook, you could type in Facebook and it's going to give you the ticker just like that. So very easy, very convenient. We've got some details down here. Okay, you can expand it up, contract it down, just to give yourself more space and more flexibility. The headlines, this is all of the different news that is affecting the stock or the commodity or the index or the currency pair. Okay, so lots of major news headlines down there. 
you're also able to see information such as what's going on real time in the market. And so here's that gap that I was referring to. Notice now the market is open. We've started trading. Okay, and Apple gapped down at the open like we were talking about. And so we were able to actually see that information prior to the market beginning trading. And so that can be very, very beneficial for us depending on the type of opportunity that we're looking for. Uh, one thing that you do need to keep in mind, of course, is that when the market is closed, such as over the weekend or during a time like pre-market or after-market hours, there are many platforms and many different brokers that won't actually allow you to manage your trades. And so even though you may know that the market is gapping higher or gapping lower, you may not be able to actually do anything about it until the market opens again. And so that's just something that you do need to be prepared for. And so continuing forward now with everything that we're talking about here on TradingView and the top there are different features. You have the ability to search for a different symbol. You've got your time frames drop down. So we can look at daily chart, four hours, 15 minutes, monthly chart, yearly charts. If you want to add a custom one, you can easily do that. You have the option to change what your candles look like. And so let's just say you don't like candlesticks and you want to use something a little bit different. You have the freedom to do that. For instance, we could take a look at something such as a line chart. And it's going to display the information about price a little bit differently because we're looking at a line chart right now. We also have the ability to look at something like a bar chart. Okay, I personally prefer candles. There are other types on here as well that we're not going to go into. You'll find more training about that inside of the academy. But for right now, candles is one of the more commonly used charts and it really helps you see a lot of information within a short amount of time. The compare feature allows you to overlap one thing with another. So let's just say I wanted to look at Apple side by side with Facebook. Perhaps you cannot do it with stocks, but I'll show you on a currency pair. Uh, but either way, play around with that. Okay, if you don't overlay the main chart, perhaps it will give us that information. I think it is related to the fact that it's two stocks. So let's just see if we can do this with uh, two currency pairs here. Now, even though I've been using TradingView for a while, still learning things about it. And it does seem like uh, with the market opening and all of this new data coming in, we're going to just go ahead and refresh completely, load back in, and that should fix it. All right, so compare. Let's put something like GBP USD. Okay, so we can see if we don't overlay the main chart, it's going to put that on there for us. If we do overlay the main chart, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, and then with this, you do have the ability to customize the settings, make it candlesticks as well, rather than a line chart. And this is going to be helpful for some of the more advanced methods that you'll be learning, as well as for backtesting and studying things that have happened in the past, so you can be better prepared for what might happen in future moments. The indicator section, I'm not really going to go too deep into. Essentially what an indicator is, it's a visual tool that helps you understand what it is that you're seeing in the candlesticks. 
There are many, many, many indicators out there. They all have their own purpose. And so if you do choose to use an indicator, the only thing that I would encourage is that you understand why it is that you're even using it to begin with. Okay, so for example, if you're using something like a moving average, which is essentially a line that shows up on the chart. I'll make it purple just so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Basically, what this is showing us right now, if we take a look at the length, how it says nine. What this is doing is it's taking a look at the last nine candlesticks, their price. It's averaging them out and it's showing us where that price would be represented by the line. And there are many different strategies and techniques that involve indicators, but we're not going to be talking about that in this video. Templates, it's very helpful if you wanna make a template after you've set something up for yourself. You have the ability to put charts side by side, one on top of another. You can look at several different charts all at once depending on the plan that you have. Okay, so the, whether that's one on top of another, whether that's side by side, it's really up to you. And of course, you have the ability to save chart layouts. Okay, so that's gonna be very helpful for you. Uh, you have the ability to customize your chart up in here as well. As an alternative, you can go into full screen mode. You can take a snapshot. So if you wanted to save something that you've marked up, you can either save it directly or, or have a link that you can share with others. And you can also publish your charts. You can publish your charts and share it with the rest of the TradingView community if you so choose. And you can make video ideas through TradingView as well. Moving into the last part of what we're going to be talking about here in this video, on the left-hand side, we have a bunch of different tools. So we have the, ab the ability to draw things like arrows if we want to point at something specific. We have the ability to draw lines, whether they are diagonal lines, whether they are horizontal lines that go across the whole screen, whether they are horizontal lines that just go to a specific area. You can change the color of all of these, and there's going to be a little palette thing that looks like this where you can just really easily come change the color change the thickness uh, and make modifications if you so choose another really cool feature about trading view is you can set up alerts and so let's just say i wanted to be notified on my computer or my phone as a push notification if and when price trades below that black line that i just draw that i just drew I could right click on it and add a alert Okay, and so you can see all the different places that you could be notified. You click create, and then it would show up in your alerts panel right here, the little clock looking icon. You can also right click on your chart and add an alert at a specific price. So you could just manually type in whatever price you want it to be notified at, click create, and it will go into your alerts panel. If you want to get rid of all the old alerts, you can simply delete all of your inactive ones and it'll clear it up for you very quickly. You have the ability to draw on your chart. You have the ability to use different shapes. Okay, all of these different options, different pattern tools, different trade management tools so that you could see, for example, if you were going to be selling it so you sold it right here and your risk was above the high and you wanted to target this, this gap. You can actually see what your reward to risk is. So how many pips you're risking or how many points you're risking as well as what the potential reward is. Assuming that you entered here, your stop is there, your target is there. And it's going to give you a risk to reward ratio as well. You can do that for both buys and sells. There are a bunch of different icons you can put on your chart. This tool right here, the ruler, it's very helpful if you want to measure a move or 
if you want to measure time. And so if we wanted to see how much time has passed from this first candlestick here and the current one that's printing, we could take our ruler, measure it, and so we can see it's been 16 hours since the market opened to the current candle that we can see. Of course, switching time frame, it's going to be a little bit different because each bar would be worth a different amount of time. And so it's going to do all that math for you automatically. The magnifying tool, fairly straightforward. It can let you zoom in or out. The magnet, what it's going to do is when you're drawing, it's going to do its best to automatically attach your drawing to the candles. Okay, so rather than freehanding it, it's going to basically act as a magnet. You can lock certain tools. You can lock all of your tools so that even if you click on them, they won't move. Okay, and so that can be very helpful if you're on mobile. You can also hide everything by clicking the eye. And so that is pretty much all that I'm going to be sharing here in this video. There are, of course, other things you can do with TradingView, such as the replay mode. If you wanted to backtest, you could go into a past point and play forward the price action as if it were happening in semi real time. Okay, so you have that feature that you can play around with. There are other features that I haven't shared with you today that once you understand the basics, you are going to have a very easy time going and navigating around your different tools, your different charts, your different watch lists, and make sure that you just take some time and explore it. Explore this for yourself, check out your own profile, see what happens when you publish an idea. And really the best way to learn any of this is through hands-on experience. And so I wanna thank you for investing the time into your knowledge and into this video so that you can not only be more prepared and educated when it comes down to getting started on your journey, but also using this as an opportunity to take in something new that's going to be value producing for you. And so thank you again. Feel free to share this video if it has taught you something new, whether you are an experienced TradingView beginner or rather whether you are a experienced TradingView user or if you are simply a beginner. And once again, I'd like to officially welcome you to the family. My name is Zachary. You can catch me on the live streams and I'm looking forward to analyzing the markets together. Have a phenomenal day. Let's continue growing and interacting with the markets.